Hey, good morning, my Impact family. It is great to be here with you guys this morning. And hopefully, I'll be seeing some of you guys a little bit later today at church. For those of you who don't know yet, we are finally together again. Yes, we are currently meeting every Sunday in person at 10 a.m. in the Vista Suite at the church. Adults are in the main service, kids have their own service, and we have ours upstairs every single Sunday. Why do I say that? Because I want you to tell your family that we have something for everyone on Sunday mornings once again. And we would love to see all of you here with us Sundays at 10 a.m. Plus, don't forget that we have our weekly Zoom every Wednesday at 7 p.m. We hope to see you guys on that as well. If you guys didn't join us last week, we went through Proverbs chapter 1, verses 5 through 7. And we talked about how wisdom and humility really go hand in hand. How we ought to learn as Christ followers as well. Today, we're going to be uh, we're going to take a look at a new scripture found in Proverbs chapter 2, verses 9 through 10. And it says, Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. You might start to see some underlying themes here if you continue with us for the next few weeks. For us, understanding God's goodness it doesn't just help you make godly decisions in your head. It benefits your entire being, deep into your heart and even into your soul. If someone were to ask you, what's pleasant to your soul? What would you say? What would come to your mind? The first thing that comes to my mind is the view from a beach in Maui. Or maybe my even my favorite place up on the American River. When I go to these places with Hannah and I, I just feel an incredible peace, a thankfulness, a joy, and even a contentment. These are two of my absolute favorite places in the entire world. And that is how godly wisdom will make you feel. It puts your soul at peace when you understand who God is and who he's created you to be. So if your heart's filled with worry, anxiousness, fear, sadness... Start with getting to know Jesus better. Start by spending quality time with him and in his word. The promise is there. His truth will be pleasant to your soul. Let me encourage you real quick before we go to allow God's truth to reach into the depths of your heart. So whatever is standing in, in the way of that, release it. Let it go so that God's truth can get deep inside of your heart and into your soul, it will be, like his word says, pleasant to your soul. I love you guys so much. I'm going to pray. Father, I thank you for today. I thank you that we are still able to do this online and even now in person. God, I ask that you would bless our students, bless our leaders, bless those who are watching this video this morning. God, I ask that you would just allow your truth to be pleasant to their soul because that's what your word says. That's the promise. So, Father God, I pray a special blessing over those watching this video. I love you. I thank you. It's in Jesus' name. If you guys agree, would you guys say amen? Amen. I love you guys so much. Can't wait to see you guys later today or on Wednesday, Zoom, 7 p.m. See you guys then.